how many reps per set should you do to build muscle? The reason I'm doing this video is somebody asked on one of my other videos about why I suggest a person who needs to build muscle should do heavy weight for low reps, okay? He says he does eight to 10 reps per set as heavy as he can, okay? And he's always heard that's the best for bodybuilding, okay? So why do people like me sometimes suggest that you use lower reps per set? And uh, you know, that's a good question and here is my answer, okay? First of all, doing eight to 10 reps per set okay, is something that will produce something called sarcoplasmic hypertrophy. Hypertrophy being, you know, the increase of muscle size. Sarcoplasmic hypertrophy means you do eight to 10 reps, some people do even more per set, multiple sets, less concentration on the weight, more concentration on pumping blood into the muscles. It will get you this pump where your muscles swell up, and that is what is called sarcoplasmic hypertrophy, where the muscles swell up. There's also something that I may be pronouncing this wrong. I think it's myrofibular hypertrophy, which basically means you use heavy weight, low reps. People do one to three reps per set, three to five reps per set. You know, I like doing five reps per set. Myrofibular hypertrophy means you concentrate on the weight, the intensity, how much damage you do to the muscle by lifting a weight that is basically too heavy for you. Breaks down the fibers, the fibers grow back, and now the muscle is bigger and stronger, okay? And it is true. For a bodybuilder, you would be better off doing multiple sets of higher reps, okay, and getting the sarcoplasmic hypertrophy. You will, however, also build muscle. Uh, sorry, build strength, okay? So if you do high reps, it is more efficient for building size, less efficient for building strength. But you will build both size and strength. Lower reps, more efficient for building strength, less efficient for building size. But you will also build size, okay? So why do I suggest that? Okay, first of all, I'm just gonna put this out here, okay? If you, sh if you imagine, like close your eyes and imagine a guy who does bench press with 315 pounds, three big plates on each side of the bar, okay? does a couple sets of, you know, several reps, okay? This person that you have in your head, is he skinny? Okay, is he skinny? He's probably not skinny. Anybody who can do multiple sets with decent form of you know, 300 pound bench press is not skinny. He's not. Somebody who can deadlift 400 pounds for multiple sets and multiple reps, not skinny, okay? Somebody who can squat three plates, you know, 315 for multiple sets of multiple reps, not skinny, okay? Just imagine in your head, not skinny, it's not skinny. Now, if he did a bodybuilding protocol, okay, and concentrated on getting the pump and build, you know, pumping muscle, yes, he would probably be bigger, okay, probably look like a bodybuilder. This guy may very well not look like a bodybuilder, but I'll be goddamned if you're gonna show me a guy who's doing 300 pound bench press who has like a, like a five inch arm, okay? It ain't gonna happen. Okay, because a stronger muscle is a bigger muscle, okay? So like I said, although what I'm doing here with my sets of five reps is certainly not the most efficient way to build size. If all you want to do is build size, all you want to do is be a bodybuilder, yes, eight to 10 reps, maybe even more reps, okay, per set, multiple sets, multiple exercises would certainly be the best way to build more muscle, okay? But there are a couple things. So first of all, um, like I said, you certainly can get big and you certainly will get big if you're lifting heavy weights, okay? Discuss that. Next point, sarcoplasmic hypertrophy, okay? Pumping your muscles up. You will get bigger faster. If you have a layoff, anything from an injury to a vacation to work-related, uh, you know, MMA fighter is getting ready for a training camp. So for the next two or three months, he's going to be doing more endurance work, more uh, skill work, less strength work. He's going to be dieting. You know, if for some reason you do not work out consistently, constantly as much, you will more quickly lose your size. You will get bigger faster with sarcoplasmic hypertrophy. You also get smaller faster, okay? Your muscles will pump up and they will atrophy faster. Myrofibular um, hypertrophy, meaning... You lift heavy weights, fewer sets, lower reps, okay? You'll grow slower, 
but you also shrink slower. Okay, so that's another thing. Um, another thing that's really important to me is when you lift heavy weights for lower reps, you may not get that big, but you're going to be rock hard, okay? Like your muscles will be harder, smaller, denser, okay? They'll be stronger muscles. With uh, sarcoplasmic hypertrophy, like I said, doing lots of sets of lots of reps of lots of exercises, you'll get bigger, you'll pump up, and that's what your basically your muscles will be. They'll be like pumped up. So you'll look really good, but it won't quite be the same, okay? Think Bruce Lee, the guy weighed 135 pounds, okay? And he didn't have a whole lot of size, he didn't have a whole lot of muscle, but the muscle he had was like a rock. Like people talked about him, like if you grabbed his forearm, it was like grabbing a baseball bat. Like it was that fucking rock hard. Like if you just like tapped him, like, you know, in, in the, like the abs, if you just like, you know, tapped him in the stomach when you're talking to him, like it was just like a rock. Everything about it was hard as a rock, even though he wasn't big. The high quality, dense, strong muscles, okay? And like I said, you know, Bruce Lee, people talk about him. They said, you know, he would lift like, I think it was like a 70 pound dumbbell and then you'd like bring it out and hold it there for a couple seconds, you know, before you had to lower it. I'm gonna tell you right now, I weigh, you know, 70 pounds more than Bruce Lee. I can't do it. I'm not even gonna try to do it. I know I can't do that, okay? That guy's strong as all hell for his size, okay? Um, another thing here is relative strength, okay? I'm a really big fan of Rich Piana, okay? The guy was not very strong for his size, okay? And he didn't want to be. He was a big fan of pumping. He's like, oh, you gotta pump the muscle full of blood. You know, it doesn't matter how much weight you lift. It matter For me, it doesn't matter how much weight I lift. I lift for performance. And if I stay lean and lift for performance, I'm gonna look fucking pretty good too. But I don't really care about how I look as much as I care about my performance. I'd much rather be a very strong guy who's not as big as a bodybuilder than a bodybuilder who's not as strong as, you know, a strong guy, okay? So, for instance, you know, I remember there back when he first started doing videos, Rich Piana did videos for a company called Mutant and they had him doing pull-ups and they had him doing dips. Now, I myself weigh, you know, let's say 200 pounds. I do dips for a couple of sets of five reps with 180 pounds around my waist, okay? And I do a couple sets of five reps. Up, down, up, down, okay? Rich Piana, on the other hand, way bigger than me, fucking bodybuilder, looks a lot better than me if you're looking for a bodybuilder, okay? And he's doing dips in these videos. He can't go all the way down, he can't go all the way up, okay, with dips, with no weight. So like I said, yes, he does, he is a lot bigger than me, okay? But he can barely, he can't really do full range repetitions of pull ups or dips with his own body weight, much less throwing on, you know, another couple hundred pounds, okay? Like I said, 180 pounds at 200 pounds, that's almost like my body weight that I got in addition, okay? And like I said, he can barely do his own weight. So, like, this is not me talking bad about Rich Piana. It's just, you know, I believe it was Bruce Lee who said, my path's not your path, okay? Rich Piana wants to get as big as possible. Okay, I don't want to get as big as possible. I'd like to get strong. Okay, not even as strong as possible. I just like to get strong. Okay, so like I said, you know, it really depends upon what you're looking for. You know, and me, I personally, and this is nothing against bodybuilders, I personally consider myself to be like a performance athlete. Okay, like I want to get strong, I want to get endurance, I want to get flexibility, I want to get these things. And I still always have the belief that if I maintain my leanness and stay as lean as possible, I'm going to look damn good because there's no way, like I said, that you can be doing dips with 180 pounds around your waist at 200 pounds and not have a certain amount of muscle, okay? There's no way that I could be doing, you know, trap bar deadlifts with well over 400 pounds for repetitions and not have a certain amount of muscle in my body, okay? And like I say, if I stay lean enough, I'll be able to see the definition. So I'm not a bodybuilder. I'm probably never going to be a bodybuilder, but that's the reason why I do low reps. If you want to do, be, if you're want to be a bigger, you know, stronger person, then fine, go ahead and do, um, you know, sets of higher reps, okay? And another thing that's really important is, I've done a video about this before, is what fits your personality? Not just your body, not just your goal, but your personality. If I do more than five reps, I lose concentration, I lose the mind-muscle connection, I can't really concentrate, I can't get that good of a rep, okay? I do by five and it's like I concentrate really hard on those five and then I'm done, 
and then I do the next set, okay? Whereas somebody else is gonna do five, eight, 10, 15, 20. I mean, Van Damme, supposedly, in the 90s, I was reading you know, magazines where he said he did 20 or 25 reps per set, okay? I could never do that. My mind would be wondering, you know, whatever. I can't do that, that's not me. It's not something I enjoy, it's not something I like. I like to throw the weight on, do my five reps, and just, you know, that's it. Concentrate for five reps and that's my set. So like I said, that's another thing. You know, does it fit your personality? Does it fit, you know, something that you enjoy doing, okay? So, like I said, higher reps, more efficient for um, gaining size, less efficient for gaining strength. You will, however, gain both size and strength on high repetitions. Lower repetitions, okay? More efficient for gaining strength, less efficient for gaining size, but you will gain both strength and size on lower repetitions. So that's the information, that's my opinion. The choice ultimately is yours.